Cooper Cup, who is the wide receiver for an underdog going at 105, going at 107 over on Sleeper. And you can see here using Rotaviz's viz's underdog ADP tracker, he's kind of started off at the six spot, start BBM, and he rolls all the way up to four. And then the hamstring injuries kind of pushed him down. Do you feel like he's kind of being valued fairly at the minute? You know, last year he did look incredible. He was on for a really great season, you know, had 18.2 half PPR points per game, which was only just behind Jeff Justin Jefferson. But do you feel like the hamstring injury is being weighed into it enough? Or do you feel like it's being weighed into his ADP too much? Too much. Way too much. Um I think it, the injury happened during a period where everyone was trying to react to preseason news and it, they didn't realize that we were four and a half or five weeks away from week one. And we were going to get answers of, Hey, if he's practicing like he seemingly is now two and a half weeks or two weeks before kickoff, then everything should be fine. Now, because he is such an incredible player, did it drop him too much? No, but Tom, I think there's an argument that he should be locked in to the top three overall picks, no matter where you are drafting. Um, because over the last two years, right now, as you just showed, you're able to get the wide receiver one in points per game in 2021 and 2022 at the fifth or seventh plat or pick on whatever platform you're using, maybe even later than that in some instances. And Hayden had this incredible quote that, the questions about the Rams this year revolve around, hey, if they're even going to be competitive, if they can win games. And you know this, that I believe getting good players on teams that are winning, because if you're winning, then you're scoring more points than your opponents is like the easiest strategy or mindset ever. But through week nine of last year, when he and Matthew Stafford were playing together and the Rams were severely struggling, they were 29th in scoring overall. They were 29th in yards per pass attempt. They were 14th overall in pass attempts. And yet Cooper Cup was still the wide receiver one in points per game. So it's like we've seen them win the Super Bowl and him be great, them be struggling and him being great. And I, again, feel like we're still getting amazing value at that pick right now. Yeah, and I mean, it's possibly being under-noticed and under-talked about, like, how bad this Rams defense is going to be. Like we saw last year, the offensive line was bad. It's probably still going to be bad, maybe slightly better than it was. But yeah, when you look at what Cooper Cup can do, you know, he was one of four wide receivers to average over 90 receiving yards, along with ranking third in targets per game, top five, uh, finishing fourth in top five weekly finishes. For me, uh, I mean, he's my wide receiver one at this point. I feel like I was kind of hesitant wow. to do it until he came back into training. But I just I think the Rams defense is going to be that bad that it's really going to push them to a point where he scores an incredible amount of points. Um, we are going to get to our second player in a moment, but first, if this is your first time here, welcome into the Fantasy Sanctuary. We appreciate you being here. We've got one simple goal here, help you win your fantasy football leagues, try to do it with these visuals, try to help you remember the key data and make sure that you take away the stuff you need to know. 